What's going on everybody in the Epical Regal world? And today I'm here to tell you a little bit about something that's on my mind that the Epical Regal fan page posted. And they took a little clip where I was talking about Venkatesh and how he's the Don. And it got me thinking, why is he the Don? So I'm gonna do a video on it and here you go. But before we get to that, I just wanna kinda of give a shout out to the Epical Regal fan page for posting that. But also, if you play the game, they found a pretty sweet little gem hidden. Now we know they're gonna be releasing new characters soon and they found this picture and I've seen it a hundred times and I've never clicked on it and when you do it opens up to this, which has all kinds of characters I've never freaking seen before. So shout out Epical Regal fan page for bringing this up. You know, you've got this big stone dude right here. So he's like a golem guy, gonna soak up a lot of damage. And I think, you know, these two paired up side by side right here, it's gonna be big time key later on where you got that area splash damage. It's gonna be playing a big role. You got Mr. Hammer guy, that's probably gonna be an AOE. Um, this guy over here is probably going to be some kind of demon knight of some sort where he's just going to hit really hard and probably have a lot of HP, but probably move slow to mid speed. And then you got this guy here holding this big old sword horn thing of thing right here. That's just going to be crazy. And this, uh, princess wizard lady over here on this side. So it's going to be interesting to see what you think they're going to do. Go ahead and drop in the comments. What? What abilities do you think they're going to have and what utility it will bring to the game? So I just figured I'd shout that out. That's pretty sweet. I believe the new characters are coming next week. So get prepared, get your gems ready, get your coins and gold ready and all that good stuff. And uh, be sure if you're not in a kingdom, be sure to join Omi 24 seven because we'll be in there grinding away. Also, we do lots of friendly battles in there. Try new decks out to find the new meta we've kind of evolved and changed a few things so with these new guys coming out it's going to be interesting to see where that goes so that is that on the update now let's get into the reason why you're here and that is Venkatesh himself the Don so I found him on LinkedIn and this is his LinkedIn page I'll be sure to drop that down below in the description and it kind of goes over a lot of things that, you know, he's involved in. And I just want to point out a few of them. You got your Epico Regal. Um, he's also involved in Ecomi, which is tied to Vivi. And we've known that for a while. So he's not involved with Vivi, but the Ecomi, the token, the crypto. So that is very interesting to see how they're going to integrate that in the game. We know there's going to be some kind of utility tied to what they've got going on. We know Venkatesh has talked about they're opening up their own marketplace and they're going to be selling NFTs. And I'm pretty sure if you get rewards and stuff in the game, you'll be able to claim them on their website. So you've got that. Now, the one thing that I found real interesting is the he is the chief executive officer of Space Is. And I'm like, OK, what is Space Is? Well, they actually have a token. And if you look right now, it's sitting at 0 0.003275. So it's basically around the OMI price range. But here's a little thing that caught my eye. The max supply is 300 million. All right. Now we know there is an Epical token, which also has 300 million. Hmm. So it got me thinking that at least tells you somewhere about where the coin is probably going to be at whenever they re release the epical regal token so we'll probably be looking at a 0.003 on it i thought that was pretty neat um here is the space is website it is a decentralized iconic <laughs> iconic economic system des of apps design as an equitable and inferior alternative to the current service platforms such as food delivery ride hauling and property rental all powered by a single wallet. <clears throat> so, you know, it's good. It looks like they're going to be having staking, uh, rewards program for buying food and buying things. It's pretty neat to see that, you know, and this is kind of goes back to what I was talking about, how he's the Don. This dude's got so many things freaking going on. Like, how in the world can you keep up with all this stuff? I'll also have this link in the description so you can look into it a little bit more. But the thing that caught my eye the most was the 
the staking aspect of it. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a credit card where you use it, you get rewards, you'll be able to take those rewards, stake it, and if the project does well, then you will be compensated for it. So that is Space Is. Uh, let's jump back over here. He is a strategic advisor for Caliscope. Now, if you don't know, Caliscope is an awesome, awesome platform that is in the works right now. They've got a lot going on. And the best way I can describe it is if you're in a VV and you've got your showroom, you can place your, your NFTs and then you'll turn them and all that, but they're like taking it to the next step. And what I mean by that is they're going to have a showroom in their metaverse where you can take your NFTs off of... Uh, off OpenSea, and I'm pretty sure IMX, and say you've got that board ape. You can put that bad boy on the wall in your showroom. I'm pretty sure because VV has said that you're going to be able to take the collectibles off the app, and we already know they're going to be on the IMX. So when that happens, you'll be able to take those, put it in Caliscope, and really intertwine all your stuff into their metaverse. And that's going to play a big role moving forward later on, how I see it is when you've got all these nfts is worth lots of money and everybody knows board apes for the most part but when they have that board ape you know party you go to caliscope you display it but you got your other big guys that's got all their nfts that you can put in there with them your vv and then charge people a fee or caliscope has diamond passes and gold passes and if you really want to take it up a level if you own a diamond pass, you get in these big art galleries that I see happening in the future. So be sure to get your gold pass, your diamond pass, and the Caliscope Metaverse because I see them playing a huge, 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 huge role. And that utility is going to be massive. But right now they're cheap. They're sitting around secondary market on uh, OpenSea for probably around 0.25 last time I checked. Right now that crypto is down, you're looking at a little over 800 bucks. So definitely check out Caliscope. They've got a whole lot in the pipeline that is coming and they are going to be a big player in the game for sure. Now, also Venkatesh has this book out that is on Amazon. You can get it $15 US, that is. And it is a book kind of where he's talked about his entrepreneurship and all the struggles he's gone through and to help you build yourself and you know, move your business forward. I've got this book on order. I'm super looking forward to it. And the more I listen about this guy, the more I listen to him, I'm super excited to read this book. And let me tell you right now, I do not like reading, but I am going to read this book because this guy, just listening to him, you know, he, his mindset is he just works, 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 goes, go, go and play is secondary. So I'm interested to see his mindset and cannot wait to read this book. And then here is some more other stuff that he's involved in. Just just killing it. Like, I don't even know how this guy has the time to do all this stuff. Literally, I've been playing the game and it's like 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock my time, which is like 2 or 3 in the morning. And he'll jump on and play a couple games because I'm sure he's working on other stuff. The dude's a freaking beast. He's also a uh, strategic advisor for Vivi, and if you don't know who that is, you've been living under a rock, this is it. It's an awesome app on your phone. Get all these cool collectibles, big IPs and all that stuff, and it's definitely worth checking out. I could see this evolving more in Epical Regal. I'm hoping Epical Regal puts their NFTs on that platform and it, it intertwines some way, shape, or form. Because right now, if you play Epical Regal, if you go to the right side, there's an AR where you can take the characters from the game, put them in AR, and it's going to be interesting to see if they have it to where you can battle each other uh, later on with all that. Super, super awesome. So, we're going to go ahead and kill this right now and we're going to watch this little video right quick of Venkatesh on a news channel and this is two years old and later on there's another video that I just found today that he told me about that's an hour long. I'm going to make another video for that but I will go ahead and put the link in the description down below but let's go ahead and play this. I'll do a little bit of commentating on you know topics that he brings up that I think is interesting. and video games are pretty much being used in digital marketing or if they're not they soon will be well that's according to our guest today who creates digital solutions for his clients to reach their customers more effectively and profitably 
Well, to find out more, let's meet Ventakesh Krishnamurthy, founder and CEO of the technology company Wharf Street Strategies. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to Great British Business. Venkatesh, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Hello, Sarah. So what do you do for your clients? You create apps, websites? Yeah, you see Venkatesh when he's like, hey, well, he's like, yeah, that's right. What's up? I'm Venkatesh. I'm the man. I'm the Don. And I'm going to tell you how it is. Do you advise on digital marketing? What do you do? Uh, so I deal with two kind of clients. Uh, the first client, I would call it a small or a medium-sized client who actually does a transaction with me wherein they want a small service or just uh, maybe one or two services. Uh, it's just uh, a one-off wherein I create a website or a platform or an app or a, a, a marketing, a basic marketing service for like one month or two months. Now, the other client, kind of client I deal with is a premium client. Now, this is uh, why I started Wall Street Strategies and um, for the premium client, I do the research, I do his design, I, do, I handle his operations like server management, I build the tech and his, I manage his marketing as well and it could go on a long term basis and it could be on a subscription basis. And now we've had artificial intelligence for decades now, but what are some of the more interesting, exciting ways that you see it's being used in digital marketing or generally? So artificial intelligence, if we remember, I think uh, the chess game wherein we had uh, to compete with the bot. So similarly, I think um, a lot of games use artificial intelligence as such, wherein uh, we have uh, the computer fighting with us. Uh, the, uh, everything is done by the computer. Uh, now, by this we understand that um, uh, we, we, we are trying to create machines which are at par with human beings just to make decisions based on uh, how the opponent reacts or how the player reacts. This is just... Now, if you play Epico Regal, you know, right now there's not a whole lot of people on the game. It's growing every day. There's more players popping on. But to help fill that void playing against, you know, having somebody to battle, you play against bots and they just did an update where... They, they changed the AI up a little bit to, to, you know, pick better cars to play against you. And it's really starting to be a little bit more difficult. So that's kind of what he's talking about in that AI field. If you don't do anything, then it automatically just plays cards. But depending on what you're throwing down, it plays cards that counters it. So that AI stuff's kind of crazy, but it, you can definitely see it in the game and how it all works. In the gaming sense. Now, apart from that, I think uh, artificial intelligence can be widely used because right now um, there is a, there is a lot of scope for us to actually just think and have uh, the text on the screen printed. So that's something really cool, and that's powered by artificial intelligence. Now, see that right there is crazy to me, and I've talked about that in the past. And how does that work? What does that look like? Do you? All right, Vanktesh, just going out to you. So, like, how how do you do that? Do you put some kind of electro things on your temples or your head or is it like a whole dome thing and it reads and then it puts the text so where that's going is pretty soon you're not even going to use your hands and that's going to be awesome for people that are disabled to really play games that never had the opportunity for and that's something that he's involved in and i'm sure going to be leading the way in the future and that's crazy because you don't ever hear about it and i know a lot of us think about it but Venkatesh is working on that right now so when that gets released, this game's really going to pop off, and that's when his name is just going to be that much bigger when he gets that accomplished. So I can't wait. That's going to be great. That's coming already, is it? I would say it's work in progress, but that's something that's going to be there in the near future. And also thinking about machine learning, where systems learn and improve without being specifically programmed. What can we expect there, do you think? Uh, is a good combination that we can have with artificial intelligence uh, because in artificial intelligence we have uh, the codes analyzed by uh, the algorithm to make decisions. Uh, now when, when I speak about decisions, decisions are made uh, uh, in an effective manner by the artificial intelligence uh, code. Now with machine learning combined with that data set, what we can do is we can actually target the right customer and uh, we can position ourselves to the uh, right audience. And uh, we can help monetize because uh, machine learning uh, analyzes all the data for us and it leads us to the right customer and positions us and even helps us monetize. But at the same time, it gives us a uh, estimate or it gives us a predictive analysis on how exactly the user would behave. Um, how <laughs> You see that woman's face? She's like, this is scary. 
Like, how do you, like, what? How are you going to even do this? How's this going to work? How's this going to happen? I, she, you could tell this lady's freaked out, but I mean, rightfully so, because I mean, that's a lot to chew right now, especially if you're not into crypto, you're not into gaming, you have no clue what's going on in that field. I could just hear right now. <laughs> How he would uh, maybe come back to the platform or go off the platform. All that kind of uh, predictions is given by machine learning, which can be used largely. Now, blockchain is used a lot in financial payments because it's so quick and secure. But you think that in five years time, we'll all be using blockchain. Now, in what way and why? Uh, so blockchain uh, is not only used in just financial transactions. It is being adopted by quite a lot of other sectors. Uh, as in with the health sector, with the energy sector, uh, with the airline aviation sector. For example, there is Etihad Airways, there is British Airways, there is Shell in energy. Uh, there are many insurance sectors like MetLife. Uh, then we have even uh, banks like Barclays uh, who are using blockchain. Now there are games that are using blockchain. So I see a lot of scope in this sector because uh, blockchain would be used in uh, quite a lot of industries and uh, areas in the near future. Okay, and if we think also about mixed... Re so with the whole blockchain thing, you know, if you've been in crypto for a little while, it makes sense. But think back to when you first got into it and what blockchain was. That is, uh, you know, when you sit there and talk about it to people and you try to explain it, it's like you're stupid, you're crazy. But once you actually research it and get involved in that kind of stuff, you're like, man, that makes sense because you can track it from point A to point B. You know, it's authentic. There's nothing fishy about it you can't copy this there's no black market for that kind of stuff and it just makes complete sense so the blockchain is definitely the future in five years i feel like it's a pretty good time frame because you're starting to hear more about it on the news you're starting to hear more about it from you know the president it's definitely going to be the future five years is a great timeline reality which is a combination of virtual reality and also augmented reality it's an emerging technology at the moment would you say but what do you see as some of the exciting ways that it is going to be used to start with augmented reality i'd say um, is uh, something like pokemon go that we had the on our apps wherein people were crazy and uh, it was very engaging for them uh, now there is uh, something known as crypto kitties on blockchain which is using augmented reality um, that's the augmented reality bit. Uh, if you talk about virtual reality, it is uh, creating an environment, uh, an artificial env environment where you can um, interact with all the uh, images or digital characters. Uh, I would like to give the example of uh, the cartoon Johnny Quest, which is uh, about virtual reality. It just reminds me of my childhood. So that's basically virtual reality. Uh, now with mixed reality, um, it's a combination of uh, the artificial environment with the real environment. So let's say we have uh, a lens which is replaced by an Oculus device, uh, which shows a digital uh, character or a digital um, image. Uh, we can actually have that image in front of us on this table while we interact with the real environment. So it's like interacting with the artificial environment and the real environment. Goodness. So where I can see that going in Epical Regal, and I know it's not anytime soon, but you know eventually it's going to happen. So you've got these arenas right now for basketball. It's the best way I can put it. You're playing Epical Regal. You got one player on one end, another player on the other, and it's you've got everybody in the crowd's got their glasses on. You're looking down at the court. And it's the Epical Regal, you know, the two towers and the King Tower on one end of the court you know, vice versa. And these guys are playing each other, but depending on where you're standing is, you know, where you're seeing in a 3d version, you know, while they're playing the game. And that's where esports and the physical world will be tied in and, you know, still be a thing. Cause you always hear about esports is going to take over. Nobody's going to go out anymore. But if you do this augmented reality or mixed reality, I can see that that being the thing that, you know, meshes the two together and people can get on board with that instead of being a slug at your house. That's right. Well, we look forward to that. Now, businesses always need to know, don't they, which technologies the public are liking, they're enjoying, they're interacting with and which ones they're rejecting. So how do you guide businesses through which are the kind of emerging technologies that are working for people? 
so this is uh, very client specific because uh, every customer has a certain need and uh, he he wants something else i i believe it is uh, uh, we who need to guide them on the right technology and the appropriate technology for example if he wants something related to data then i would suggest him to go with machine learning or maybe artificial intelligence which could uh, uh, help uh, analyze the data and uh, give us the right triggers required uh, now if you talk about emerging marketing techniques so we deal a lot with data um, in the current market uh, now digital marketing uh, techniques are basically uh, tools that are used marketing tools it just makes it more effective uh, customer can get what he wants and the business person can sell what he sells so it's like a link between the two and obviously it's powered by technology but it's a marketing tool which actually helps him monetize it and finally would you say that all businesses need to use digital marketing and why i think digital marketing is the right way of uh, entering into a into a new market or an existing market uh, because you can you can make your presence really quick there uh, the social media handles like sure facebook linkedin twitter uh, instagram actually help you reach really quick and that helps you improve your seo uh, further further to that you can uh, you can work on adwords you can have like the right keywords you can have the right hashtags to target the right audience because this helps in uh, again search engine uh, optimization and uh, would would push your uh, uh, search to the top when anyone searches for uh, digital marketing or they search for a particular service that they need. Venkatesh, thanks very much for telling us all. Digital marketing is definitely key. And I remember arguing with my CEO of a company I worked for back in 2005, whatever it was. Whenever Facebook first came out, I was like, man, you need to get on this. You need to start advertising our stuff on Facebook. Like this is the future. This is the way things are going. And this is the mindset of people back then is he, his exact words were, you mean to tell me that more people are going to see our advertisement on Facebook than in a book? And I said, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen because everybody's going to be on this. And he just shook his head at me and walked off. And well, I mean, I don't have to say anything else about that now, do I? Because we know digital marketing is the way to go all about that yeah thank you well that's all we've got time for at the moment but from me sarah lockett at the london stock exchange studios it's goodbye and thanks for watching well good job venkatesh you killed it man you absolutely blew that girl's mind without a shadow of a doubt i mean just freaking killed it so that's kind of like a little little update on uh venkatesh why yeah. he's the we're don. going to transition into taking this discussion in. Oh, a lot of stuff that he's involved in and where he's going in the field. And you can see why I'm so bullish on this guy and the epical regal and everything he's involved in. Caliscope, you know, he's an advisor to Comey and many, 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 many other projects. And I look forward to seeing, you know, how he grows his business and as a person, as an entrepreneur. And he's got a lot in the pipeline and being active on the discord, you catch a lot of little things that you don't hear anywhere else that I'm telling you right now, you mark my words for a Comey and Epical Regal, June is going to be a big month. I can't quite say what it is, but it's going to be a big, big month for the two. That partnership is, you know, the seed has been planted since 2018, since he got on board with them, and it's been growing very nicely. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of really good things are coming. And that is exactly why Venkatesh is the Don. Now, there is another video of him. It's an hour long. I'm going to do a commentary on it. Not not in this one, but in another one. Um, I'm going to put go ahead and put it in the link. Down below, if you want to find out a little bit more about Venkatesh, he talks about, you know, he really breaks down his experience as an entrepreneur from college to where he is today and everything. Really, really awesome. But for the sake of time, this is just a quick video. If you want to know who the Don is, Venkatesh himself. And be sure to check the game out. Uh, jump in their Discord. They're super active. He gets in there. He plays people. It's a good time. You know, <laughs> He likes to brag when he beats some people. So, you know, if, if you get beat, you can see your picture getting, you know, posted up on there. But that's all good because you ain't seen one where he beat the old kid Roller. 
But anyway, be sure to like, you know, subscribe, comment, tell me what your favorite part of this was. If you play the game, you know, your favorite, you know, card character on there. A lot of big things are coming. So until next time, we'll holler.